I've always wanted to talk to you about uh, this scandal that took place about a year and a half ago in, uh, in France and Switzerland. So basically, there's a teenager who is part of a, um, you know, a climate... Uh, um, basically, they, they squat buildings and they're opposed to climate change and so on, right? It's a young activist group. And this teenager skipped school to go squat some buildings, right? Uh, basically occupy these buildings, right? It's, it's a form of protest that we're going to sit here and, yeah. The French government sent a Europol, so that's, you know, not Interpol, but on the European uh, continent, Europol notice to the Swiss to try and get this guy's identity from an email address that they found. And this email address belonged, it was a Proton Mail email address. Now, something that really bothers me is that after the Snowden uh, revelations in 2013, you've had an entire industry of, of companies pretending that they're going to save you from the NSA and from GCHQ and, you know, they're going to protect you from mass surveillance. All you have to do is buy this VPN. And this is complete, utter garbage. It's, they're nothing but charlatans. And you know what? It's it's rather unfortunate because one of the companies that was 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 seen as as being you know more or less serious about about what they're doing was Proton Mail. You know everybody, oh Proton Mail, Proton VPN, Proton this, right? And you always hear this 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 funny catchphrase, you know, like oh well they they have they're based in Switzerland and they have those really good Swiss privacy laws. When I when I tell you what you know that the French government got this uh, a teenager's IP address from ProtonMail, from ProtonMail, using a, a, a terrorism law. Does that sound like Swiss privacy counts for much? What a load of garbage. And the whole time, they, they, they give people the impression, you know, you'll have people that say, well, of course ProtonMail, they have to comply with the law. They can't just do whatever they want. Yeah, but... Most people who use ProtonMail don't know that because they've been sold a lie, just like they've been sold a lie by every other company. It's not, it's not just ProtonMail. Again, just to, to give you the time, this is late 2021, September 2021. The, the place that they were occupying these teenagers is Place saint Marthe. It's in Paris, okay? And um, here's the article that this group published, the, the, the activist group, okay? And they talked about how one of their members had their IP address logged by ProtonMail and then given to the French police, uh, right? So it, it's on parilute.info, uh, and they, they explain all of this. And somebody basically, you know, just, just screenshotted what I, what I just told you, which is announced by the group, and put it on Twitter. And then the, this, this is the CEO, okay? This is the CEO of Proton, uh, you know, AG saying that this reporting is false. We do not give data to Europol. It's illegal under Swiss law. <laughs> Man, this guy's funny. Then, this is what somebody posted underneath. They came back with the police report, the actual police report, where it literally says that they gave this information over to Europol. So basically, this guy is, is being a sneaky lawyer corporatist. You know, it's just like, we, we would never give anything to Europol, and we didn't. But we'll give it to the Swiss, who will then give it to Europol. <laughs> they think people are idiots. They think people are morons. Maybe they're right. <laughs> I don't know. But basically, then the line, the, this is the line that he took. So he said the same thing you, you hear these bootlickers say, which is, oh, Proton must comply with Swiss law. As soon as a crime is committed, privacy protections can be suspended. And we're required by Swiss law to answer requests from Swiss authorities. Wow, you, well, you didn't put that on your front page or when you didn't tell people that when they signed up, right? You, you basically hid it in some fine print in a goddamn huge, you know, um, uh, you know, TA that no one is going to read. And, and now you're pretending that you, you, know, you were forced into this position. Listen, man, the thing is that squatting a building is not terrorism, okay? I mean, maybe for, for capitalists, it's terrorism, you know? But squatting a building is not terrorism. I'm pretty sure under Swiss law, squatting a building is also not terrorism. So this, this you know, they basically make you think that you're safe and everything. But if a foreign government comes along and pressures any Swiss-based company, they will, they will fall over and just hand the information over. And you can see it from ProtonMail's own data that more and more governments are doing this. 
So Proton Mail received three or th uh, 13 orders from Swiss authorities back in 2017, but then it became three and a half thousand by 2020 in the span of three years. And the number of foreign requests to Swiss authorities which are being approved has also risen. Okay? So all it takes is the Americans or the French or the British to pressure a Swiss court into falling over, you know, and then Proton Mail and Proton VPN, all of a sudden, the Swiss privacy laws, they just magically vanish. Now, look, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that Proton or whatever company should just ignore the law in Switzerland and, you know, act uh, and just, you know, act like these court orders don't exist because they can't, right? They, they would be shut down and so on. What I'm trying to tell you is that you've had an entire industry of tech companies, email providers, VPN providers that sprung up right after Snowden. And all they've done is trick people into thinking that they're magically safer. But really all it takes is just a foreign court order, a Europol or an Interpol notice or whatever it is. And, and that sounds drastic because it is drastic. They are li the French government literally used a terrorism law to get this IP address of a teenager who's part of a climate uh, uh, activist group. Terrorism. And this relates to what I just told you, where the French government is telling the British police to arrest a French journalist in London, citing terrorism laws. So do you see how this is a gross abuse of power? They're, they are accusing anyone they like of being a terrorist for any reason. And then you have these people justify this kind of behavior. It, no, 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 no. This is, the, you, this is, this is, you know, irredeemable. And then once again, the CEO says, look, in general, proton mail cannot be used by people engaged in activities which are illegal in Switzerland. This is explicitly prohibited by the terms of service. Proton must also comply with Swiss government orders. Yeah, see, here's the thing, man. Squatting a building is, again, it's not terrorism, you know? Uh, in some cases, uh, journalism, for example, is considered a crime, quote-unquote, right? It's considered illegal, right? So what, when, they're, when they're going after Assange, they're accusing him of committing a crime. But he's actually just a journalist, right? He's, 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 he's just, you know, he, he's carried out normal activities that every publisher and every journalist does. But they're trying to make, you know, turn it into a crime. So th this, this argument now that, you know, okay, well, we gave it to Europol and you shouldn't be committing any crimes anyway. You shouldn't be engaged in anything bad. Um, sorry, but that's that's not what you've advertised and marketed yourself as you've literally specifically targeted people who want and seek anonymity, who seek privacy, who seek security. And of course, those are those are three entirely different things. But nevertheless, you've targeted those people. You've marketed yourself as that, as have many other companies. And it's all a big fat lie because all it takes is the American, the State Department and the, the Department of Justice or the French or the British. And they will get you like this. Legally or illegally, okay? So afterwards, you know what's funny is that if you look at their, their, um, their damage control, they tried saying here that, you know, Proton Mail does not give data to foreign governments because that's illegal under blah, blah, blah. We only comply with legally binding orders from Swiss authorities. Once again, I, I reiterate my, my previous point. The Americans, the French, anyone can pressure a Swiss court like that and get this information. So this is, a, this is nonsense, and you know that. You should say that on paper we can't give it to foreign governments but foreign governments can easily pressure swiss courts and get it anyway that's 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 what you would do if you were honest that's what you would do if you were really being serious about you know transparency then here down here they say under swiss law it's obligatory for a user to be notified if a third party <laughs> that's, a very, that's a very nice name for spies uh if a third party makes a request for their private data and such data is to be used in a criminal proceeding more information can be found here. Once again, this is a moot point because they're saying that if Proton Mail is going to give your data to a government, we have to tell you. Now, here's the thing. This teenager from the, the, the French activist group that I told you about, who had their IP address handed over by Proton Mail to the French police, they were told eight months after the fact after the fact, eight months later. So once again, this is typical lawyer, corporate uh, uh, politician speak. D you know, they, they, they obfuscate and trick you and make it sound like something completely different. They will only tell you when they find it, uh, uh, you know, when they find 
uh, that it is a suitable time for them. They are under no obligation to tell you, uh, uh, you know, on the moment when they receive this um, uh, court order or after the fact, when, whenever they want. And it, if you actually go and read all of this stuff, they, they, they spell that out. They say, well, we can delay it. We meaning Proton or the police can delay it. So basically, they, you know, you might never find out. They might tell you 100 years after you've died that you were, <laughs> your data was handed over. God, it's so disgusting. Here's another one. Under current Swiss law, email and VPN are treated differently, and Proton VPN cannot be compelled to log user data. So the, uh, it, here, it's, it's much more diplomatic than what the CEO was saying in other places, where, you know, basically they're saying, well, look, man, it's your fault for not using a VPN and logging into Proton Mail with your real IP address. You should have bought our VPN. <laughs> man, man, it's, it's so sick. You know, anytime's a good time for marketing, right? Point number seven. They say, due to Proton's strict privacy, we do not know the identity of our users. And at no point were we aware that the targeted users were climate activists. Hmm. Now, that's very interesting because they, they say elsewhere that they refuse. They refuse a lot of these requests. Look, it says here, this is from TechCrunch, and they broke the story, right? But they're citing ProtonMail's own data. So ProtonMail contested... Uh, three orders back in 2017, and then contested 750 of them in 2020, right? Because they're going up. Now, hold on a second. How is Proton contesting these requests for user information if they don't know who the users are? Because they just said that we didn't know these are climate activists. And then elsewhere, they're saying we rejected 750 of these requests to violate our users' data because we care. Well, how, did, how the hell did you evaluate those 750 if you don't know anything about the, the users? I thought, I thought you don't know. What a blatant contradiction. What, a, what an outright lie, man. There's something so fishy going on here. And, that, and this is just my third or fifth point, right? So, you know, I, I find this very, very disgusting that the French government is using terrorism laws to, to attack uh, uh, climate activists or any activist or any journalist. Uh, whether, you know, their, their email provider is based in Switzerland or they're going to, you know, to meet people in London or to, to see a, a bloody book fair. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. You know, this is very disgusting behavior by the French government. They should get their act together. C'est franchement ignoble. C'est dégueulasse. C'est dégueulasse. And, and the fact that other powers, the British government is, is okay with this. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, what, what do they think, you know, when they're approaching this guy? It doesn't really look like a terrorist, does he? How, how do you, like, seriously, you know, pull out your ID card and say, yes, I'm, I'm taking you for terrorism? Come on, man. Poli police are not stupid. They're all very highly trained. They know exactly what they're doing. They can look at you in one, five seconds, know exactly who you are and what you do. Come on, man. I, how, must, how do these guys feel carrying out these orders? They must have something against the inside. They must. You know, I, and, and even if they didn't, we cannot allow it because it's, it's a, you know, it's... A gross abuse of power. I mean, this law shouldn't even exist in the first place. I, I'm not sure how you can just randomly arrest people and, you know, basically, not, not charge them, but, you know, in so many words, accuse them of terrorism at random and hold them without charge. I mean, this is, this is insane. This is insane to me. I, I mean, that, you call that dem uh, democratic? And, uh, again, I think, I think this case of Proton Mail... Look, I'm not trying to, like, attack them personally or something. But I think that they've deceived a lot of people, you know, and they changed after this scandal where they were caught giving the IP address of a fucking teenager who's a climate activist, and, and, you know, to, uh, after this scandal, they changed a bunch of stuff on their website, you know, like suddenly it's not, oh, it's not uh, anonymous email. They start, I, I forget the exact thing. You can go read the TechCrunch and all the other articles. They, they started changing up the wording and that's, that's the point of my story right that they went and changed a bunch of things on their website to make it look like oh well you know we we never said that this is anonymous email they, you know <sighs> you know a lot of things <laughs> are wrong with this this is very stinky this is very stinky mm -mm -mm. i'm not impressed whatsoever <laughs> i'm really not impressed with this behavior and uh you know the, these, uh, this industry of, of, of VPN providers and, you know, all this garbage they try to sell you on YouTube. Man, they, they are, they're, they're taking you for a ride. They're taking you for a ride. And you need to watch where you put your money. 
you need to watch out and understand and study these companies. Now, granted, you know, out of all of them, from what I've seen, they seem to be, let's say, the least, uh, <laughs> one of the lesser evils. And it's funny because I wish they would just say that Swiss law is not going to protect you, but it's better than American law. You know, just something like that, something simple in terms of privacy or, or let's say British law or whatever. Just be honest with people, man. Just be honest. Don't, don't try to obfuscate and, you know, fill their brains with nonsense. Be real. Be real. And, and, and the fact that they try to deny it and say, like, oh, we never gave anything to Europol. Do you think people are stupid? Yeah, you gave it to the Swiss who gave it to Europol. <laughs> oh, man, that, that's really bad. That's really shameful. And then blaming the user for not using a VPN. How disgusting. You, you, dude, you gave a user's IP address, and on your website, it said you never log people's IP addresses. You lied. You lied. This is a straight-up lie. They will log your IP address. They will log everything about you if the right, if the right per person or entity puts enough pressure on them. Remember that.